Hello, once again, my name is Steve Jaguer. This is a very special beer review. We're going to be drinking beer for such a good cause. And let's get it going. Hey, this is the bit where I normally put a ticker below saying, please subscribe to the channel, tell your friends, ring the bell, do all that stuff, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to get straight into it. Because this beer, not only is it a whopper and looks delicious, but it's part of the Fuck Cancer Project. Yes, I said it. I said the F-bomb, and you know what? I only say that for a very special cause. There it is. Artwork by Game Over, by the way. There's the artist. I love when they give credit to the artist. In combination with Old Street Brewery down there in London and Dark Arts Coffee Delicious. We've had Dark Arts Coffee-based beers reviewed on the show before. Uh, but let's check out the art. we got to give credit to the artist. Well done, game over. It looks a bit Banksy-ish, doesn't it? And we have our relation to cancer. And this is an Imperial Milk Stout at 10%. It's a Friday beer. No doubt about that. It's got dark oats coffee in it. It's got hints of vanilla. It's got some roasty, roasty goodness in it. Does it actually tell me what the malts are? Wheat, barley, yeast, lactose. Ooh, it's going to be smooth. Ooh, what are land cacao shells? Very good. And of course, Dark Red's Coffee. So, very exciting. Let's crack into it, and then I'll show you a little bit more about this project and how you can drink beer for cancer. That sounds like a good thing, right? Ooh, it's, it's heavy on the nose, I tell you that. Let's grab a glass here. What glass do we have today? This little guy. We don't want to drink this in too large of a quantity, do we? It's, it's pretty black. Wow, very, very... It, it didn't explode into the, the head of this glass in the slightest, but look at the darkness of that. That's a beautiful thing. Anything behind it? Anything? Anyone? Nothing. Dark as is. Dark as the night. Dark as a moonless, delicious night. You get a ton of coffee on the nose. I wonder if this is going to taste like cold espresso. I've had one like that before where it just tastes like an amazing, like, let me get that straight. Bad coffee tastes worse cold. Great coffee actually tastes okay. Actually pretty good cold. Shake it on a bit of ice. Don't even need sugar. I'm not getting the vanilla. That's interesting. I would have expected I would have got a little bit of that. So let's give it a little taste. Oh, it's so coffee. They did not hold back. They managed at 10% to leave a little bit of sweetness in there. So it does taste a little desserty, let's say. Try a little bit more. It reminds me a little bit of some of the Amundsen more dessert themed beers. It has a super smooth. It's I would say I've left this Honestly, it's a little too cold. My bad. I think it's going to get better in about five minutes once I've done this review, of course. But even then, it's amazing. It's super smooth. Lactose is there. That's probably giving a little bit of that lactose sweetness. And the 10%, I would say it's not bowling me over. There's no alcohol burn. There's none of that. It's just, it's just good. But I think the coffee is what's bringing up the detection of alcohol because it's a little bit like if you got a, a, a really high-end coffee and you think I'm gonna ruin it by putting a bit of whiskey in it's a bit like that it's a bit like a little a little bit of maybe like a let's say Irish Jameson's dropped into here and I'm still looking for the vanilla one more sip It's really faint, but I don't mind because I think, and I've joked about this before, that sometimes you drop too much vanilla in just to hide a bad stout, and this is not doing that. This is really, really, really nice. So Imperial Milk Stout, 10%. Oh, that I mentioned, it's called Breakfast Before the Maypole. I was really remiss in doing that. That's what it is if you want to buy it. I really like it. I'm a little worried that I like it too much, and it's going to go down a little too quick. But 
Let's learn more about it. I have, I'm going to give it a score out of 10. Going to give it an 8 point. I've had some really good ones in the past. It's not the best I've ever had. It's not as good as the Black is Beautiful one from last year. That was outstanding. Just below that. Probably 8.4. Still very complimentary. Above 4. Stick with me now, though. Stick with me. Almost there. Here is the page for... You can see it, FC Cancer, up here at .co.uk if you want to learn more about it. Uh, actually, let's learn a little bit more about it as well. Variations on the uh, on the censorship there. Was created to raise awareness of the 400,000 people impacted by cancer annually in the UK. When you get to my age, anybody who even comes close to my age knows someone who's died of cancer. It's a done deal. Sorry to say. But that is just how it is. So when I see something, I give regularly to cancer research. And no one told me that I could buy beer and have some of the proceeds go to cancer. So I, as soon as I, as soon as I got hold of that, I was all over it. Um, here we have David Laird. He was obviously affected. His granddad had a very short and surprise battle with cancer. Obviously did not come up on the right side of that. And so, boom, suddenly we're collaborating with all these wonderful breweries, which is what we want and we get to see some of the amazing nipas was it twisted wheel brewing there they are involved there's the one we're looking at right now let's click through and, and, and get a little bit of a description on that so that we can get a little bit more you know straight from the horse's mouth kind of example breakfast before the maypole no indicator on hops i i don't like it when they don't do that but i don't really care uh in this instance when we're talking about something that is you know just a great project but we do see Imperial Cereal Stout, conditioned with dark arts, obviously. Land cacao shells, I'm going to have to look at what that even means. And it is £7.89, so it's a little pricey, but hey, let me just back that up. That's what you got to do. So let's take a look at some of the other ones. This is the first one I've had. So Cell Repel, I actually have one back here in my fridge, which I'm excited to try. And I've got a couple of the others that I'm not going to get into. Oh, I know what it is. It's the, this one. I have this one as well. So all really good stuff and all very adventurous, I would say, in terms of what they're doing. I didn't see anybody cutting corners. Like they're all like, whoa, check them out. So if you can pop over here, and I highly recommend this, this stout sale pack thing here. That is pretty cool. And then there's the American one you got to pay a little bit more for, but you know. That one right there, just go grab it and you get a Darth Vader can. Why not, right? And plus you're doing a good thing. And even though it's on sale, money still goes to cancer research. So I think that is kind of one of those no-brainer purchases if you can't afford it. Um, jump in there and do it. So that is the end. I love the art. I love the fact that the artist gets credit. It's going to get a great score on Untapped. It's going to be well over four for sure. And I, I think I'm going to end with that. Go get it. And you too can say, fuck cancer. And I love beer. That's the end of this beer review. My name's Steve Jaguar. Steve out.